The Adamawa state government has called for an enhanced budgetary provision for the girl child education. Head of Service Adamawa State Dr. Edgar Amos made a call in the state capital during a workshop organized for government officials and CSOs by the International Federation of Women Lawyers in collaboration with the Spotlight Initiative. Dr. Amos, who was represented at the workshop by the Permanent Secretary Administration, Ahmed Dada, said equipping the girl child would help curb the issue of sexual and gender-based violence in society. Let's think of our children, let's think of the girls, especially girl child education. That's why it's so difficult here. We saw high education for here. Let's think of them, please, now, please. Let's think of them in life. Because if you today equip the girl, if you appropriately bring up a girl, you are bringing up appropriate condition. Because that wants the people to be the welfare and wealthy of the state. Freedom and freedom seeks to train CSOs, government officials, and other stakeholders on the national action plan. The government's accountability for budget allocation and release. Monitoring of the budget's utilization and gender responsive budgeting for violence against women and girls, gender based violence, and harmful practices. Budget aims to end all forms of violence against women and girls. The initiative seeks to respond to all forms of violence against women and girls with a particular focus on sexual and gender based violence. And to dis uh, discuss these issues around the girl child education, we are now joined by an e educationist, Dr. Peter Oguduru. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Uh, right enough, the story from Adama State, what is your assessment um, on budget allocation, specifically for the girl child in Nigeria? Of course, we know it has um, been very um, appalling over the years. Um, we, we are not even doing up to 20% of what we should do uh, with respect to funding education in our country. And I think that the reason why this is so is the fact that the people who run Nigeria are yet to understand the indispensable place of um, high quality education in achieving accelerated national development. And of course, our philosophy of education is also something that we haven't been able to put together properly. Uh, we don't know what uh, we should even be teaching our children. We, um, we, 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 we think that um, uh, governance is all about uh, winning elections and occupying power and using it to oppress the ordinary people in society. And until we are able to properly uh, uh, explain what education is to, to every, every stakeholder and then fund it, we won't be able to move forward. And for the gear child, of course, we know that um, if at all you, you want to talk with education, you can talk with even a you know, poor child education, but not get child education, because these are the ones who, who train the children. You know, women who uh, are educated have been established to be women who, on that, all other factors, been able, are able to bring up children who are also able to um, play their roles effectively, become very um, uh, helpful citizens, and people who respect the law, who recognize their responsibility and uh, make their useful contribution towards the human society. So it's, it's not the, the, the type of education we can joke with, because uh, uh, in the absence of a child who is properly educated, you can be sure that such type of system is All right. Uh, and, uh, uh, help us also understand this. Um, experts assert that uh, despite there being schools made specifically to educate uh, girls, Nigeria still has a very low literacy rates among its female population. What exactly are we still not getting right? Yeah, there are cultural uh, practices and uh, orientations that work against the, the girl child in Nigeria. And there's this understanding that um, it, is the, it is the boy who is going to take over from, from, from the head of the family. So uh, if, if uh, the money you have can educate only one child and you have two children, one is a boy and one is a girl, there's a tendency for you uh, because of this uh, unfortunate cultural uh, circumstances, for you to put the, the money you have into educating the boy, because you are more interested in the person who is going to uh, sustain, as uh, Africans would say, in the, name of, in the name of the family, which which is very unfortunate for us, because we know today that uh, there are so many families who are 
whose names have been projected more by, by, by the girl child who have gone to school and who have um, done well, who have achieved quite a lot. Okonji Wala is, is a name that is very prominent globally. Uh, there is hardly any other person from that family that has known as, as Mrs. Okonji Wala. That's, that's, that, that, that's the woman who, who got good education. as a question, a professor at, at, at Kunyu, who made Nigeria proud while she you know, was, was uh, occupying the, the office of NAFTA as, as, as Director General. And so we see this all over the place, not just in Nigeria, globally. Uh, women are, are doing well, especially when they have been given the privilege, the opportunity to receive good quality education. But in our country, culturally, we are not uh, 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 brought up to believe that uh, women um, occupy a very significant position in society. And I think that's quite unfortunate. And we need to, to, to deal with our, our, our understanding of, of the role of women in society. Um, again, you know, we, we, even though it's a joke, we, do, we, we, our, we have had a very prominent African leader say that the place of, you know, of, of the woman is, is, is in the kitchen and, and, and in the other room. And so when you hear those things from highly placed people, you can imagine what um, ordinary people who haven't even uh, acquired power, who haven't got to school, uh, are about to say and to do to women. That's, that's, that's our unfortunate circumstance. Um, there's also, I believe, a, a role that religion has had to play. Nigeria, I believe, is, is, is a very religious country. And many citizens even today tend to live according to ver various uh, religious writings. Um, has this also affected um, or had you know, great impact on the girl-child education? It's, um, it's part and parcel of culture. So I, I haven't separated the religion you know, from the cultural issues I, I was raised. But I can also confirm to you that um, the people who uh, even think that their religions are against the education of women are people who are very, uh, 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 you know, ignorant and uh, lack uh, the intellectual tools to be able to interpret the scriptures in the theory uh, uh, properly. I, 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 I understand, you know, Christianity well, and I know that there isn't anything there uh, that um, uh, prevents us from giving women their proper place. Or, or giving them adequate education because there are examples of you know, women who, who made a huge difference. In fact, most of the people who follow Jesus uh, very closely and uh, followed him right to, cl close to, to, the, to, 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 to Calvary happened to be women. Men deserted him and they were the ones who were very loyal. If you, uh, I, trained, I trained in England and have had the privilege to study in several other parts of the world and I have many friends who come from Saudi Arabia. Uh, in my in my office as 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 a doctoral researcher in in England while I was training to end my PhD, uh, we had about uh, we were about ten. Uh, uh, five, Fifty percent of us came from Saudi Arabia, and they were all women. So, and that is the seat of of Islamic religion. So, even the Saudi Arabian government are putting a lot of money into training their women. So, uh, it's very unfortunate that the people who don't even come from that kind of environment, which is the seat of the religion, are are, are crying more than they believe when it comes to. Uh, for propagating a uh, very uh, useless idea. So I think it has to do with lack of understanding, lack of proper interpretation of, of the only books that that, uh, uh, that we read. And I think that uh, better education uh, uh, and then using the National Orientation Agency, we can do quite a lot, getting families, fathers and mothers to put um, the gear child education, you know, uh, 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 give it, you know, the right to place in the scheme of things. And that's the only way we can move forward. Will fixing the issue of poverty um, also change things? There are those who share the view that one way to address all forms of education discrimination uh, would be to address the issue of poverty. Do you agree? Yeah, I, I see the place of money in the affairs of men. But this particular matter we are discussing, uh, this route is, uh, is more uh, in the area of uh, lack of belief that the training uh, at the gear charge is, is important. It's not just it's not just money because what money are we talking about? Uh, 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 public schools in Nigeria don't charge fees. You know, the, the little amount of money they ask for, to, you know, to buy uniform and to buy a few other things, are not the reasons why the why the gear child would not go to school. It's just the fact that our people do not believe that the gear child deserves as much as uh, 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 you and I know that, that that she deserves. That's 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 a more fundamental problem. It's it's not just poverty. It's Last. Just, uh, uh, believe it. 
Yeah. Lastly, before you go, I want to know, uh, taking uh, cue from Adamawa State, do you think that there should also be legislation across the country uh, to improve on the budget reallocation for uh, girl child um, education across the country? Yeah, uh, uh, education generally, and uh, in particular for given the fact that that's what we're discussing this morning, their child education. Yes, it's not a bad idea, uh, given the fact that it's denying us of what we can accomplish as a people. Then if we um, make up our mind to, by way of uh, appropriate legislation, say that a certain fraction of, of our budget should be devoted to, to helping the girl child to uh, 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 reclaim a rightful place in the scheme of things in our country. If we're able to do that, I think it will go a long way in help. So I put this uh, uh, on the table all the time, and the trend uh, uh, teachers and school school leaders to uh, be able to assist the girl child to uh, learn as much as possible so that um, we can use her to fast track development in our country. So it, it's a brilliant idea if, if the politicians will have it. Dr. Peter Ogudoro, thank you so much for speaking with us.